Oh yeah, all right, okay. Hey everybody, welcome to Big Jim Vlogcast Live, I'm Jim. Uh, yeah, all right, so let's see here. Um, all right, just sharing a few things here. Um, all right, so anyways, yeah. So, just, yeah, all right. Yeah, I'm just sharing a few things here. Um, let's see here. Uh, okay. Um, uh, okay. Uh, all right. Okay. Okay. So give me a minute here. Um, all right. Okay. So yeah, all right. Okay. Um, okay, yeah, anyways, I'm Jim, this is Big Jim Vlogcast Live, version 5.0, episode 252, uh, let's see here, what am I missing here, um, okay, all right, um, do, 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 Sarnia Pop Culture Club, Pop Culture, uh, do, do, do. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. All right. Um, it is Big Jim Blogcast Live, version 5.0, episode 252. It is Sunday, May 21st, 2023. Um, yeah, hey, see you tuned in, Sue. That's great, good. That's good. Um, let's see, let's see. What, uh, all right, well, okay. Born to be Bond. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. So yeah, um, this is we're in the middle of a long weekend here. Um, bongos. Okay. All right. All right. So yeah. Okay. So. All right. Yeah, we're in the middle. Oh yeah, Larry. How are you? All right. Okay. Good. Um, I see everybody's like. Uh, Logged on. Um, yeah, this is Big Jim Blogcast Live, version 5.0, episode 252. Um, cigars, craft beer. It is Sunday, May 21st, 2023. Um, we are in the middle of a Canadian long weekend here. Um, <coughs> I'll do my, you know, first my disclaimer. You may, I may say a few bad, dirty words like shit, damn, screw, uh, fuck. Um, but that, that, you know what? Be prepared, be aware. Go to your safe space, grab a Kleenex, because those words might slip out. Um, who we are? All right. So, anyways, welcome to Big Jim Blogcast Live, version 5.0, episode 252. Big Jim Blogcast Live, for those of you who are just joining us for the very first time. Uh, well, I know, I know. Unfortunately, it's not a long weekend for all of us. So, um, if you're just joining us for the first time, Big Jim Blogcast Live airs Sundays on Facebook and the occasional Fridays. Wednesdays were on our fifth year as Big Jim Blogcast Live debuted back in 2018. So, Big Jim Blogcast Live does craft beer reviews, like uh, over 200 and counting, and tonight's craft beer is called Bayfield Blonde Lime by the Bayfield Brewing Company in Bayfield, Ontario. So, I'm going to try it for the very first time here. We accompanied that by uh, Spirits, we, we, uh, by Spirits of Gibson's Finest Whiskey, plus a good cigar, um, Tonight's cigar is a vintage 2003 Cameroon Rocky Patel. I'm going to light this puppy up right now. Mmm. Mmm. <coughs> All right. So, okay. Mmm. <coughs> okay. All right. Good, 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 good. I'm going to put this over here. Um, yeah, so, um, we do craft beer reviews like that one, over 200 and counting, from craft breweries right here in Sarnia, Ontario, uh, area, and across Ontario and across Canada, 
pairing it with a good cigar and a spirit. You know, like uh, this one, Rocky Patel. Um, all right. So, anyways, uh, to, to, to share to a group. Um, hmm. We talk about classic movies, classic TV, classic sci-fi, pro wrestling, um, um, sports, classic rock, Van Halen, like this week in Van Halen history, uh, local events near you, countdowns, birthday shout-outs to all our friends, retro, classic, nostalgia. Um, um, all right. Uh, yeah, uh, retro, classic, nostalgia are the uh, buzzwords here. Uh, Big Jim Blogcast Live is seen in um, the U.S. and Canada, also worldwide from the U.K., Australia, Mexico, France, Spain, Germany, and so on. Thank you for watching. Turn us on and tune in and enjoy the show. Politics and religion are banned. Um, all right. So, uh, okay. Um, yeah. So, uh, like I share, I want to say, reiterate, I'm going to do the first of many times tonight, I'm going to reiterate that Big Jim Blogcast Live is not spam. Um, like us, share, subscribe to us. As Big Jim Blogcast Live goes out later on on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and all these audio listening platforms you listen to your podcast to. Plus my own YouTube channel, Big Jim Blogcast Live at YouTube.com. So cheers, and here we go. And I want to give shouts out to everybody watching the Port Elgin groups, the Sarnia groups. Um, okay. Um, Stokes Inland. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. And there we go. All right. So, yeah. Um, all the, yeah, uh, give shout out to everybody watching in the uh, Sarnia, Port Elgin group, especially Sarnia Rock, supporting Sarnia. You guys like rock. Um, all right. Uh, it, uh, all the cha chain reaction, all the pop culture, retro classic nostalgia groups, all the Van Halen, hard rock groups, the craft beer, cigars, Star Wars, pro wrestling, uh, classic TV and movies, plus the Sean Connery, Jane Bond, WKRP, classic board games, the Sean Cassidy groups. Um, okay. Uh, the Rubik's Cube groups, Gordon Lightfoot, and Bongas and Congas. So, anyways, um, yeah, so I am going to share uh, all right uh rubik's cube um lovely birthday oh yeah birthday wishes oh yeah fuck all right um whose birthday birthday uh today's birthdays um up and coming birthday 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 all right so okay hmm okay all right so yeah, uh, thank you for tuning in tonight. Uh, it's exciting. We're in the middle of a long weekend. Um, yeah, so I've got a good cigar going here. Um, mm, mm, mm. All right. Well, <coughs> all right. Good cigar here. Now, uh, to bongo solos and congas. Uh, tonight's uh, lineup, we're gonna like uh, do. We're, we've got the craft beer re go review going. We got Bayfield Blonde line by the Bayfield Brewing Company in Bayfield, Ontario. We've got our birthday shows. We're gonna cube the Rubik. Uh, we're gonna do some countdowns, local events. We're gonna look at a J James Bond, not James Bond movie starring Sean Connery. Never say never again. Our part five of uh, looking at WKRP in Cincinnati season one. Um, we're going to, uh, uh, the late superstar Billy Graham, our classic board game, Go For It, uh, Womp Rats from Star Wars, uh, Sean Cassidy, a forgotten album from him, Born Late, uh, our tribute to Gordon Lightfoot and This Week in Van Halen History, plus, yeah, again, Cube the Rubik. So, anyways, yeah. So, if you're from, if you want to, like, say hi or whatever, feel free to do so. So, anyways, lots of bongo solos tonight. Boom. <laughs> All right, so there we go. Um, okay. Mm. 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 All right, so I'm going to do some more sharing here. Um, all right, so anyways, bear with me. Like I said, we are in the middle of... Mm. All right, so... Uh, okay, so... Mm. All right. Mm, okay. Okay. So. 
Hmm. All right. International. Man, okay. All right. Crop Beer Association. All right. So, okay. Uh, birthday wishes. Uh, okay. So, mm, vintage board games. Blogger self. Um, all right. So, mm, okay. Um, okay. So, do, 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 do. All right, so yeah, 87 shares, right on. All right, so anyways, yeah. So if you're if you if it's your first time here, type in say hello. I'm gonna like uh, you know. All right, here we go. Hello everyone. Hello. Okay, enter there. So anyways, yeah. Um, all right. So uh, tonight's like uh, craft beer. We got it coming to us. Uh, all right, so. Mm. All right. Mm. Mm. <coughs> All right. So, anyways, uh, tonight's craft beer, and I've had this in my fridge for over a year. It is called Bayfield Blonde Lime by the Bayfield Brewing Company in uh, Bayfield, Ontario. They're on Highway 21. I've been there. Great little shop surrounded by all these other boutique shops. So, I'm trying this for the very first time tonight. A um, little bit about this. All right, I want to see how this pours. I've had this in my fridge for over a year. All right, all right, here we go. Oh, 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 oh. I've got one of their glasses too. So look at that. You can still, you can see the texture on that. Um, I'll just uh, wait for that. Uh, before we do that, I'm going to explain to you my rating system here. Plus, all right, I rated it out of 10. There's my beer rating system from 10 to... One outstanding, awesome, excellent, very good, above average. It's a six till tens that give you the smiley face. Or average, like five, four, three, two, one is average to awful. That's the uh, unhappy face. So, anyways, um, yeah, uh, it, like, well, once we get past the five, there's no going back there. Plus, I want to, uh, um, all right. I want to uh, do, 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 uh, tell you guys about like uh, the Growler. It's the Ontario Craft Beer Guide. You can get it at any uh, craft brewery here across Ontario. Uh, the Ontario Craft Beer Guide. It's the thesaurus, the dictionary to um, to uh, all the amazing like uh, craft breweries in Ontario. They tell you what they they do. Uh, you know if they put on live music. But pick it up at your local like uh, uh, craft brewery or the liquor store. It's three bucks a pop. So there we go. All right. And tonight I'm gonna cube the Rubik. Um, all right. So we got that going down here. Um, all right. Hmm. Hmm. <coughs> all right. So once again, this is Big Jim Blogcast Live version 5.0 episode 252. Thank you for um, uh, joining us tonight, May 20, Sunday, May 21st, 2023, in the middle of a Canadian long weekend. All right, here we go. Bayfield Blonde Lager, or Blonde Bayfield Blonde Lime, by the Bayfield Brewing Company in uh, in uh, Bayfield, Ontario. Now, before I do this, I want to say that I go with my gut on this. I don't use fancy words. I don't go, well, maybe this is a very exquisite high brow how high brow very tasting beer i uh, you know um no i don't do that i just go with my gut on it and uh here we go i'm trying it for the very first time i do give it a rating out of 10 later on the blogcast so if you're still here and you want to throw out a number see if it matches up with mine feel free to do so so here we go mm. Mm. all right okay all right not a bad start you can taste the lime in it <laughs> yes, you can. Mm. Mm. Bayfield Blonde Lime by the Bayfield Brewing Company. Mm. It's uh, You can taste the lime in it. All right, whether it's a spring, summer, or fall beer, I'll let you know. So, mm. I brought back up, too. So, yeah. Mm. All right. So, yeah. yeah you could, yes, you can. The lime taste, it goes... It does go down smoothly, but... The lime is right there, so, mm, mm, with a touch of sweetness to it, 
So anyways, I'll just put this right over here. And we got like, I'm washing it down. Accompanying it is uh, Gibson's Finest Whiskey. Mm. Oh yeah, all right. So, all right. Okay, so let's get going here. Boom, all right. Mm. 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 All right. Oh yeah. Mm. 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 <coughs> just checking out some like uh all right so anyways yeah just checking out some like uh, notifications there um all right so yeah that deserves a bongo bongo solo in itself boom all right the first of many tonight um all right so all right well, before we get to like uh our birthday shadows and countdowns and local events what i'm going to do tonight first of three tries is i'm going to try and get the all blue side in 20 turns so this is the first time first of many tries tonight um here we go so here we go if there's a drum roll all right so here we go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve uh thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen um nineteen and twenty there we go that's all oh god that is like all um that's it um, I, this is the first of three tries tonight, so I'll put it back in my Big Jim Blogcast Live mug. All right, so it's going to rest there. If I don't get, I'm going to try that all year long. If I don't get, like, uh, a full side by uh, the end of the year, like the end of our season in November, um, I will take it apart on air and put it back together, all colors matched up there. So right on. All right. Mm. 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 <coughs> All right, good cigar here. It is a Rocky Patel Vintage Cameroon. I got that from the like uh, um, Riverfront Cigars in Sarnia, Ontario, Canada. Uh, let's see if I can do some more sharing. All right, so um, yeah. All right, so all right, share to a group. All right, so yeah. Um, hang on here. All right, so. All right, up, 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 up. Here we go. Uh, do, 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 do. All right. Um, do, do, do. All right, Mymar, James Bond, 007, Pro Rest. All right. Mm. Okay. Mm. Def Leppard's fans for life, the world of board games. All right. Okay. Craft beer enthusiast. All right. Um, Mm. All right, so yeah. Mm. David off cigars. Happy birthday wishes and quotes. Um, okay, boom. Let's go further. All right, there we go. All right, so we are not spam. Um, Sister Christian, oh the time has come. Whoops. Okay, so. James Bond lovers, all right, so 007 James Bond, uh, do, 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 everything, all right, Canadian rock, all right, so, all right, mm. pop culture pros group, all right, so, okay, so, all right, so anyways, here we go, um, yeah, now before we get started on that, I am going to remind everyone that this broadcast is not spam. Um, the audio version will go out later on Spotify, YouTube, Apple Podcasts, and all these op audio listening platforms to listen to your podcast too, plus my own YouTube channel, Big Jim Blogcast Live at YouTube.com. And give shouts out to everybody watching in the Sarnia Port Elgin group, especially Sarnia Rocks, Michelle, you guys rock. Um, supporting Sarnia, uh, Chain Reaction, Pop Culture, Retro Classic Nostalgia Groups, all the Van Halen Hard Rock Groups. 
craft beer, cigars, Star Wars, pro wrestling, blog spot, classic TV and movies, and the Bond groups, the James Bond groups, WKRP in Cincinnati, um, uh, Sean Cassidy, Gordon Lightfoot, Rubik's Cube, Bongos and Congas. So anyways, we're going to do some, uh, um, all right, the birthday shout outs, but our craft beer overnight accompanied by Gibson's Finest Whiskey. Um, it is, hold on here. Mm. All right. It is called mm, uh, Bayfield Blonde Lime by the Bayfield Brewing Company in Bayfield, Ontario, Canada. Trying it for the very first time tonight. Um, mm. Oh, yeah. You can really taste the lime in that. Um, it does go down smooth uh, with the lime. So, all right, going to top this up. Um, I do give it a rating out of 10 later on in the blog cast. So, if you guys are still sticking around and want to throw it a number, see if it matches up with mine, feel free to do so. So, mmm. Mmm. All right. Tangy lime taste to that. All right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Mmm. 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 Okay. So, all right. So, anyways, yeah. All right. And it's accompanied by, like, a vintage Cameroon. 2003 Rocky Patel cigar. Mm. Mm. <coughs> All right. So with birthday shout outs, here we go. From May 15th to the 21st, Brendan Bain, Stacy Parker, David Beckingham, Joshua Brown, Adam Van Hoogenhoos, Daryl Brand, Patricia Bo DeBoer, Delina George, and Jody Voigt Stewart. All right, so happy birthday to you guys. Uh, our, oh, wait a minute, yeah, let me do that over again. All right, so yeah, happy birthday shout outs. All right, Brendan Bain, Stacey Parker, David Beckingham, Joshua Brown, Adam Van Hoogenhoos, uh, Daryl Brand, Patricia DeBoer, Delina George, Jody Voigt Stewart. Happy birthday, everyone, from Big Jim Blogcast Live. We are in the middle of a Canadian long weekend. Um, with people who have a like uh, don't have to work tomorrow so cheers everyone and uh yeah so mm, 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 mm. <coughs> all right so there we go uh let's see here all right so mm, just checking out a few notifications all right so mm, all right okay and so there we go all right. Mm, okay. So anyways, yeah, thank you for watching. This is Big Jim Blogcast Live, version 5.0, episode 252. Sunday, May 21st, 2023. So let's get going. We got some countdowns to do here. All right. Father's Day is in 28 days. Summer is in 31 days. Canada Day is in 41 days. Memorial Day, Memorial Day for our U.S. friends is in eight days. The August long weekend is in 72 days. Our Labor Day long weekend is uh, 105 days away. Remembrance Day is 174 days away. And autumn, the fall, I know we don't want to think about that. That's in 125 days. All right, boom, and that deserves a bongo solo in itself. Boom. So, yeah. Um, all right. So, anyways, yeah. Uh, we did some countdowns. We will get to some local events here. Um, all right. So, we are in the middle of a Canadian long weekend. Thank you for watching, everybody. So, just doing some toggling here. All right. So, there we go. Mm. 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 <coughs> all right. Good cigar here, uh, Rocky Patel Vintage 2003. Um, our craft beer for tonight, accompanied by Gibson's Finest Whiskey. Um, all right. Mm, 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 all right. So our craft beer for tonight, and I've got to send this to uh, Send in Messenger. Um, uh, Bayfield Brewing Company. Whoops. Uh, hmm, no 
Okay. All right. Well, we don't match that. So, anyways, um, okay. Share to your story, public. There we go. Um, all right. So our, our craft beer for tonight, um, it is Bayfield Blonde Lime by the Bayfield Brewing Company in Bayfield, Ontario, Canada. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's the lime there. You can taste the lime. Um, it does go down. It, it's got like a texture to it. Um, kind of reminds me of like uh, an OV, Oviana-esque beer. Um, mm. Mm. I do give it a rating out of 10 later on the blog cast. So if you're still here and sticking around, I haven't decided whether it's a spring, summer, or fall beer. But, uh, yeah. So if you're still here, you want to, um, mm, 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 all right. Mm. <coughs> okay. So anyways, uh, I'm going to share that to... Um, all right, messenger, um, all right, Bayfield, uh, all right, nothing found for that, okay, all right, okay, there we go, all right. So, yeah, um, there we go. All right. Mm. Mm, all right. Whoops. Big Jim Blogcast Live. We are switching over to that. Boom. Okay. So, yeah. All right. All right. So. Mm, okay. So, yeah. Whoops. No. All right. So yeah, it. Uh, if you want to say hi, say hi. Um, all right. So yeah, we're in the middle of like a Canadian long weekend. Uh, most people have to have tomorrow off. Most people don't. Sorry about that. Sorry to rub that in. Uh, mm. Mm. <coughs> all right. So we get to some local events now. Um, all right. So for the longest time we had COVID, which put a damper on, on all of our local events. The buzzwords used to be hiatus, canceled, postponed, rescheduled. Um, um, yeah. So, but for the, and, but now they're, 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 they're they've been back a long time. They were back in full force. So here we go. Um, all right. So anyways, all right, here we go. Blue Water Border Fest. Um, June 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 2023. That's going to be in Centennial Park in Sarnia. Um, the acts are going to be like uh, Justin Moore, Tim Hicks, City and Color, Sheepdogs, Blue Stones. Saturday will be Daughtry, Theory of a Dead Man and Pop Evil. You know, for tickets, you got to go to www.ticketscene.ca. I know Mark and the guys have really like uh, picked up the pieces where Bayfest left off. Um... And they did a good job with, like, uh, Blue Water Border Fest. Um, they gave us tickets to give away in 2019. So hopefully they'll give they'll better. Keep on watching Big Jim Blogcast Live for uh, for a ticket giveaways. So not promising anything. But anyways, yeah, Blue Water Border Fest is going to be a good time. Um, all right. So, okay. So, yeah. Um, Revelry Music Festival. Um that is going to be July 21st and July 23rd. It's all ages. The acts are going to be the Arkells. Lights Living Room for Small, Gypsy Flats, Little White. $95 grand uh, general admission, $135 a weekend pass. That's going to be in Canaterra Park in Sarnia. Um, Saturday, August 12th, 6.30 p.m. You got the awesome band Rumblefish, rocking the Duke New Orleans Cruise. Tickets are $30 there. The Duke order board 6.30. The cruise is from like uh, seven till ten p.m. You got to talk, contact the band members, band members in Rumblefish for tickets. So, going to be a good time there. Um, yeah, Saturday night dances are going to be held. 
They run from 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. at the Sarnia Legion downstairs, $7 cover charge. They run through from May to June. They play classic rock and country. They're at 286 Front Street North. Saturday, September 25th, uh, 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. is the Mud Men, the greatest band in the world. Mud Men at the Forest Fall Fair, 45 Jefferson Street West. 25th uh, anniversary tour tickets. Go to the Mud Men official Facebook page for tickets like that. Um, Sarnia Kinsman Rib Fest, June 6th. Or, yeah, I got like that. Uh, mm, June 16th, uh, 11.30 a.m. till June uh, 18th, uh, 2023 in Centennial Park, Sarnia. Uh, the greatest bands in the world are going to be there. True Fire, Chain Reaction. It's going to be ribs, music, craft beer. Um, mm, a good time there. All right. So, yeah. Um, all right. Um, it, uh, and we got more. Saturday, June 3rd, uh, 2023 at 8 p.m. is Smile and Wave, a tribute to 80s pop at Rustic. Right outside of Sarnia, great little uh, music club out there. Um, do, do Saturday, June 11th, 10 a.m. till 4 p.m. is a Psychic and wellness, wellness Fair at the Navy Club in Sarnia. Friday, June 9th is Beer Store Money, Core 4 Live, 9 p.m. at the Point Brewing in Point Edward. And Pizza Fest, June 3rd, 10th Annual Pizza Fest, June 3rd, 2023, from noon till 7 p.m. in Victoria Park, Petrolia. All kinds of different pizzas. Yeah, yeah, I, I, fuck, it's an amazing place, amazing time there. So, boom, yeah, you got to, like, uh, check out Pizza Fest and Petrolia. So, anyways, yeah, that deserves a bongo solo in itself. Boom, boom, boom. All right, boom. Okay, so just toggling it here. All right, so, okay, so, mm, mm, okay, so, yeah, mm, mm. Mm. <coughs> mm. Good cigar here. It's a Rocky Patel Vintage 2003. <laughs> all right. Um, with like, uh, all right. So basically, I'm going to remind everybody tonight that this broadcast is not spam. The audio version will go out later on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and all these audio listening platforms where you listen to your podcast too. Plus my own YouTube channel, Big Jim Blogcast Live. At YouTube.com. Um, want to give shouts out to everybody watching in the Port Elgin Sarnia groups, especially Sarnia Rocks, uh, supporting Sarnia, Sarnia Rocks. Michelle, you guys rock. Um, at uh, Chain Reaction, best band band there in in uh, around in the Sarnia area. All the pop culture, retro, classic, nostalgia groups. Um, all the Van Halen, hard rock, classic rock groups, craft beer, cigars. Star Wars, Pro Wrestling, Blogspot, the classic TV and movies, plus James Bond, all the James Bond, Sean Connery groups, WKRP in Cincinnati, the classic board games, the Sean Cassidy groups, Gordon Lightfoot groups, Ruse Q, Bongos and, Cong Bongos and Congas. So, yeah. All right. Boom. Mm. 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 Our craft beer for tonight um, is accompanied by Gibson's Finest Whiskey. Um, mm, oh yeah, so we got a real, real live one on our hands tonight. Mm, mm, um, all right, the craft beer for tonight, it is Bayfield Blonde Lime, um, uh, by the Bayfield Brewing Company in Bayfield, Ontario, Canada. Trying this beer for the very first time tonight. Mm, mm, oh yeah, woo! You can really taste the lime in that. God, so it's a good spring beer. I'll start it off with that. Good spring beer. Um, good. Uh, it's a good novelty beer. Um, good for like uh, you know when you. Um, I'm gonna go out on a limb here. I'm gonna say it's a good bingo beer when you're playing bingo um, in front of the TV or with your with your friends. Um, good spring bingo beer. Uh, I'll elaborate more on that later on in the blogcast. Mm. Mm goes down smoothly there's a texture to it again the lime mmm oh yeah so um, I do give this a rating out of 10 later on in the blog cast so if you're still here and sticking around you want to uh, throw it a number feel free to do so so all right mm. so yeah mm. all right so mm. Mm. 
Mm. <coughs> All right. So this is Big Jim Blogcast Live version 5.0 episode 230, 252. It is Sunday, May 21st, 2023. Um, we are in the middle of a Canadian long weekend. So, yeah. Um, it uh, And we've got our movie on here for tonight. Uh, let's see here. Okay, it is called... Mm, all right. We've got the Bond movie on. I've got it on right now. It is called Never Say Never Again. Um, um, there we go. This was... Um, released October 7th, 1983 in the U.S. There's Sean Connery, um, all right, as Agent 007 Bond. Uh, his budget was $36 million. It did good box office for being a non... It's Bond, but it's not Bond. Its box office made $160 million. Now, the main cast was Sean Connery, um, as James Bond, Klaus Branhire as Maximilian Largo, uh, billionaire businessman, the main Bond villain there. Max von Sydow as Stavro Blofield, head of Spectre. Barbara Carrera as uh, Fatuma Blush, the Bond girl there. And we've got uh, Kim Basinger as uh, Benici Patrici, plus Alex Alec McKinn as Q, Edward Fox as M, and Pamela Eden as Miss Moneypenny. So... Um, what do we got here? So just checking out a notification here. All right. Um, okay. So anyways, um, the premise of this plot, premise of the plot, an aging James Bond. All right. Um, an aging James Bond uh, makes a mistake during a routine training mission, uh, leading M to believe that Bond is past his prime and suspends Bond from active duty. But when Spectre, the evil organization... Uh, steals a two nuclear missiles from the U.S. Uh, military. M must reinstate Bond because he is the only agent that is equipped enough to deal with and be Spectre. Now, as far as like uh, this was Sean Connery's last go round as Bond. This was his seventh and final time. Um, yeah, as Bond. Now, this was produced by Eon Productions. Um, they've got like. Uh, um, Hmm. All right. They've got, like, I've got the movie on right now. Now, legally, uh, since this wasn't by uh, United Artists or produced by the Broccoli's, Albert R. Broccoli, the usual producer, um, they couldn't use the traditional Bond elements, the gun barrel sequence, the James Bond traditional theme. Um, there were lawsuits between MGM, Eon Productions, the Ian Fleming estate, um, Albert uh, Albert Brock, uh, Kevin McCleary, um, Never Say Never Again went through three directors before Irving Kirshner, the guy who directed Empire Strikes Back, was decided on by Sean Connery. The Ian Fleming estate tried to block the release of, N uh, of Never Say Never Again, but it was thrown out of court. Now we've got, like, um, um, it, it was Sean Connery's wife that, that um, all right, as we go through this, it was Sean Connery's wife that suggested the title Never Say Never Again. Sean Connery's wife, Mich Micheline, influenced Connery's decision to reprise the role. Um, it, he had, like, uh, Connery himself had reservations about returning from it. Uh, they're great. They, they give you this movie. They give you so many facts and figures on it. Um, it, uh, you know, with, like... Um, um, with like uh, the, the movie, so many t trivia tidbits. Um, and in The Essential Bond, which I have here, um, it, it uh, in 200, like, uh, let's see here. All right, so, okay. So the other James Bond, um, yeah, it was a rival Bond film after Return to the Rule after a 12 year absence. Uh, basically a remake of Thunderball. Um, all right, uh, bring in the project. So they had to like overstep like um, the Sean Connery and Eon Productions basically had to go through a lot of legal hurdles to get this movie made, which isn't a bad Bond movie in itself. I posted several of like the, um, the clips from Bond like uh, on my blogcast page and my Facebook page. There we go. There's 
um, you know, Sean Connery, good hair piece there, because Connery had, got, uh, had gone, like, uh, bald at this time, um, so, but, um, yeah, there, there he is with, like, uh, his Bond women, Bond girls, um, yeah, and so, uh, Sean Connery, never say never again, so, all right, um, okay, and I did, like, uh, post mm, several of uh, clips from the movie and interviews from Sean Connery himself on my blogcast page and my Facebook page, so, yeah, Bond, James Bond, he still has the martini shaken, not stirred, mm, mm, Good cigar here. Rocky Patel Vintage Cameroon. Um, all right. And so, yeah. Um, all right. So, yeah, like uh, I, I did post several. Like I said, this movie, it's not a bad movie. I have it on right now. I was watching it earlier. Restarted it. Um, it, it uh, as far as action goes, it's great. Um, mm, yeah, yeah. All right. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, all right, that deserves a bongo solo in itself. Boom. All right, so, okay. All right, the, again, uh, my, all right, so, mm. okay, this is Big Jim Blogcast Live, version 5.0, episode 252. It is Sunday, May 21st, 2023. We've got a lot of stuff to go. You know, we um, superstar Billy Graham, our classic board game, our, we're going to cube the Rubik still two more times, um, Star Wars Womp, Womp Rats from Star Wars, our forgotten classic album, Sean Cassidy, Born Late, Gordon Lightfoot, tribute to him this week in Van Halen history, and we'll do a 10 gong salute to both su superstar Billy Graham and Gordon Lightfoot later on in the blogcast. So, yeah. Mm, all right. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> all right, so yeah, I'm just doing a bit of toggling here. Um, all right, so all right, keeping it real. Um, if you're a first time viewer of Big Jim Blogcast Live, type in and say hello, uh, is what I'm gonna do. Hmm, all right, all right, okay, so yeah, um, hmm. All right, and our craft beer for tonight, it's accompanied by uh, Gibson's Finest Whiskey. All right, um, mm, rarely do I have a good combination here. Mm. Our craft beer for tonight, it is called mm, Bayfield Blonde Line by the Bayfield Brewing Company in uh, Bayfield, Ontario, along Highway 21. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yeah, very tangy taste to it. That's because it got a lot of lime in that. Uh, good bingo beer, good spring beer. Mm. I got, like, uh, yeah, spring bingo. Um, I'll elaborate that on more. Um, but uh, I got to get more of a feel of it from, like, uh, the, at the end of the broadcast, I do give a rating out of 10. So if you're still here and sticking around, you want to, like, um, Throw a number. Feel free to do so. I brought back up too. So, all right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That. All right. So, mm. all right. So, mm, yeah. Good. Like, like, good uh, it's got like the, a limey aftertaste. To, lime aftertaste to it. Um. All right. So as we get to our. All right. I gotta. All right. Bongo solo in itself. Mm. Booger! All right. Okay. So as we get to, we're going to do a five-part series on the four seasons of uh, WKRP in Cincinnati. Um, all right. So anyways, um, mm, we have season one. Mm, let's see here. All right. Okay. All right. So we're going to do season one now. Um all right, from WKRP in Cincinnati. Um, I love this show growing up. Uh, here's season one of uh, WKRP in Cincinnati. 
All right. So, uh, believe it or not, WKRP in Cincinnati was the inspiration for Beijing Vlogcast Live. All right, where are we here? So, hmm, all right. Hmm. All right, we got all of the characters here. Um, all right, WKRP in Cincinnati. We've got season one. All right. So, season one debuted September 18th, 1978. Um, all right. So, hmm. Um, uh, September 18th, 1978 to June 4th, 1979. 22 episodes on CBS. The cast, Howard Hessman is Dr. Johnny Fever. Um, all right. So, anyways, yeah. Uh, Tim Reed as Venus Flytrap, Lonnie Anderson as Jennifer Marlowe, Jan Smithers as Bailey Quarters, uh, Frank Bonner as Salesman Herb Tarlick, um, um, Gordon Jump as Arthur Carlson, Richard Sanders as Les Nesman, and Gary Sandy as Program Director Andy Travis. So, Season 1, Andy Travis, like premise, uh, new Program Director tries to turn tr uh, WKRP, struggling WKRP, tries to turn the ratings around and it switches its format to rock and roll. Now, interestingly enough, CBS, uh, they debuted WKRP in the Monday 8 p.m. time slot. Um, all right, so there we go. There's its time slot. Uh, as you can see, it had competition from Little House in the Prairie and Welcome Back, Connor. Um, all right, yeah. Uh, do, 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 do. All right, so it, uh, yeah, so on ABC, you had Welcome Back, Cotter, um, and you had on NBC, Little House in the Prairie, and NBC Monday Night at the Movies, and so, which was a big ratings hit for, like, uh, NBC, so, but um, my favorite episodes of these like uh, alright so interestingly enough um, CBS put WKRP on hiatus after eight eight episodes but brought it back after good reviews from like uh, TV TV critics and and the fans so mm, alright so just doing some toggling here alright so hmm okay so anyways yeah um, season one um, uh, episode, my favorite episodes were, uh, Hoodlum Park, or no, Hoodlum Rock, with, like, um, um, hmm. Hoodlum Rock, uh, hmm, okay, so, all right, Hoodlum Rock, where they, the scum of the earth, um, uh, the first episode where Johnny, uh, as he's changing the, the rock and roll format, Andy Travis gives him permission to do so. He goes, Booger! I almost forgot, fellow babies. Booger! Played by the late Howard Hessman. Um, all right, so, um, yeah. Uh, Turkey's Away, where the, the uh, God is like, uh, they do a turkey promotion on Thanksgiving. That was my favorite episode right there. Um, it, uh, Turkey's Away. All right, so as God is my witness, Tur I thought turkeys could fly, as Mr. Carlson would say. The contest nobody could win. Um, goodbye, Johnny, and Johnny comes back. And Johnny w received an offer from the rival station who fired him in Los Angeles for saying the word booger on air. Um, Johnny comes back. Preacher, um, who is Gordon Sims? Uh, commercial break. Uh, all my favorite episodes on there, um, and we've got like uh, so. Um, our two characters here. Uh, we're gonna spotlight like Gordon Gordon Jump as Andy or as as program director, uh, Arthur Carlson Jr. and Gary Sandy as like Andy Travis, the program director. Um, it. Uh, both likable characters there. So there's the main cast of WKRP in Cincinnati. Uh, CBS moved it to, this was like, yeah, so basically this was the ratings for it. This, this was like uh, its schedule. 
So welcome back, Cotter, and a little host in the prairie. We're like, uh, we're we're NBC and ABC's like uh, hit shows there. So that put it up. But later on in the season, uh, CBS moved it to move WKRP in Cincinnati right after Mash. So, um, <coughs> excuse me, Mash was like the uh, biggest ratings hit for um, uh, CBS, and so. WKRB benefited from that, so, all right, and so, okay, and so, I did post several of WKRP in Cincinnati's, like, uh, season one highlights on my, like, blogcast page and my Facebook page, so, uh, plus interviews, all right, so here we go, um, Mama Carlson, also makes appear an appearance in season one that she's the uh, station owner and mother of like uh, Arthur Carlson Jr. So, um, one of the best side characters there. All right. And so, yeah, um, there we go. Season one of uh, WKRP in Cincinnati. Booger. I loved this show growing up. Uh, tried not to ever miss, <coughs> tried not to ever miss an episode of it. So, um, and uh, my brother actually gave me this. I got to give shouts out to, to Greg. So, gave me like, uh, all right, gave me like uh, the episode. They gave me that for as a Christmas gift. So, yeah. Mm. Mm. <coughs> all right. So, okay, let's see here. Time to, let's see, if I got any, like, uh, um, yeah, have I got any, like, uh, do, 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 exclusively, exclusively. All right, so, okay. All right. Okay, so there we go. 97 shares. All right. So, anyways, yeah, that was, like, I posted several of uh, WKRP in Cincinnati's Season 1 Greatest Hits on my blogcast page and my Facebook page, so look for it, like it, um, you know, alright, so, anyway, doing some toggling there, that deserves a bongo solo in itself, boom, alright, as we move on, alright, to our, uh, our, um, our dearly departed professional wrestler, alright, so, Mm, all right, so yeah, there we go. Mm. Mm. All right, the first, uh, you guys, um, uh, I am going to like uh, uh, tonight's craft beer. Yeah, accompanied it. I've got a great cigar here. It is a uh, Rocky Patel Vintage 2003 Cameroon. Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> All right, so our tonight's craft beer accompanied by Gibson's finest whiskey. All right, so mm, okay. Mm. Mm. All right, um, mm, Bayfield Brewing Company. All right, so mm, Bayfield, Bayfield, uh, send a messenger. All right, so yeah. Um, mm. Bayfield Brewing Company. There we go. Send. All right. There we are. All right. Good to see them. All right. So anyways, yeah, there we go. Um, our crop beer for tonight, it is called Bayfield Blonde Lime. Um, and trying it for the very first time tonight, I'm going to top this beer up. So, mm, all right. So, yeah, um, all right, there we go, just topping it up, oh, yeah, and, uh, yeah, so, basically, you, you can really taste the lime in this, um, it goes down smoothly, but, yeah, you've got a lot of the lime aftertaste to it, mm. right now, it's a specialty spring beer, I'd recommend it for the spring, like now, um, or when you're watching bingo or playing bingo with your friends, um, you know, 
um, the Bayfield Brewing Company. They are on Highway 21. Um, you got to like, uh, they're, they're, they are basically, um, they're a little bit out of the way, but they're not that out of the way. It's a quaint little like uh, brewery in, uh, in Bayfield and it's surrounded by boutique shops. So you're there, check it out. Um, yeah. So this is Big Jim Blogcast Live version 5.0 episode 252, Sunday, May 21st, 2023, as we honor this man tonight. Superstar Billy Graham, real name Wayne Coleman. He was born June 7th, 1943 in Phoenix, Arizona. Sadly, he passed away last Saturday, May 17th at age 79 in Phoenix, Arizona. So, um, it, uh, he debuted in 1970. He was uh, trained by Stu Hart. Um, now, he got into bodybuilding when he was a teenager in the fifth grade. Um, he idolized bodybuilders Steve Reeves and John Grimmick. Um, there's another picture of him right there. Um, all right. Um, at Northfield High School, he had excelled in track and field and shot put and dabbled in amateur and pro boxing. He tried out for the CFL Calgary Stampeders, uh, was accepted, but they traded him to the Montreal Alouettes. And in the meantime, he worked as a debt collector and a nightclub bouncer. Now, he broke into the bodybuilding industry. Um, um, 1961, he was the winner. He was Mr. Teenage America winner in the West Coast. Uh, 1969, he competes in Stuart's Stampede Wrestling and the LA NWA promotion. Uh, changing his name to, to Billy Graham. That's when he like uh, got the like uh, the uh, tie dye and the uh, and the the beard and all that colored his beard and all that. Uh, now 1972, he. Joins like, uh, let's see. So, all right. So, uh, he joins the AWA. Um, all right. So, he joins the AWA. Feuds with Vern Gagne, the Crusher, Bruiser, Wahoo, McDaniel, Ken Patera, and Ivan Koloff. Um, so, um, now, October 25th, 1985. He debuts in uh, the WWWF. Um, all right, so let me see that if I got a picture of that. So, mm, all right, he debuts in the WWWF. It was called at the time. Uh, Fused with Bruno Sammartino, um, Antonio Inoki. Um, mm, all right. Uh, Jack Briscoe, Dusty Rhodes, uh, Pedro Morales, Harley Race. He competes um, also mm, in the NWA, National Wrestling Alliance, um, from 1978 to 1982. He will re he would return to the uh, WWF as it's renamed uh, with a different look. He feuded with Bob Backlund. For the, for the WWF title unsuccessfully. Um, to, 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 uh, 1983 returns to the AWA to compete in the AWA and the NWA, confused with Jimmy Valiant, returns to his like uh, previous look. He had like, uh, he did change his look for a while to this, like a no nonsense, like uh, bodyguard, uh, bodybuilder, but changed his look back to this. And so with the tie dye, all right. And so, 1986 to 1989, he competes in the WWE, but his health was declining. And uh, the one-man gang, see if I have his picture here, um, it, uh, he was in the ring with the one-man gang. Uh, Storyline-wise, the one-man gang retired him, but his health was, like, uh, declining. Um, bad hips, bad ankles, um, you know, so on his hip and the pain was too much to bear and he retires in 1988. Um, he was inducted in the 2004 uh, WWE Hall of Fame class. Now his most memorable feuds were with like um, Ole Anderson. Um, like I said, one man gang. Uh, all right. Ole Anderson, one man, or uh, there we go. Uh, Dusty Rhodes. Um, Jake the Snake Roberts, um, 
Mm. Black Bart. Um, Antonio Inoki. Uh, Japanese legend right there. Uh, the, uh, the This guy. Uh, oh God, I forget his name. Um, hmm. Steve Walwork. <laughs> Steve from Port Elgin. Hey, Steve, how's it going? Uh, Baron Von Raschke. Um, all right. Um, Andre the Giant. Fused with Andre the Giant. Um, all right. And uh, basically, like... Uh, his influence, like, countless wrestlers were influenced by him. Uh, Ric Flair was one of them. Uh, Hulk Hogan. Uh, Scott Steiner. Um, all right, so. Mm. Yeah, the man, the myth, the legend. Um, mm. All right, so. Yeah, basically, like, uh. The man, the myth, the legend. He was like a one-time, a two-time NWA Florida champion, uh, two-time uh, NWA Florida tag team champion, uh, one w one-time WWF champion, and he was a one-time Slammy Award winner. And so, <laughs> I like that. Okay, like it. Yeah. All right. Um. Um. So yeah, and I did post several of his, of his matches. Um, and promos on my uh, blogcast page and my Facebook page, yeah. So, Billy Graham, superstar Billy Graham, later on a 10-gong salute to him, uh, passed away last Saturday, May 17th, at the age of 79, uh, in Phoenix, Arizona. So, all right, um, yeah. So, later on, I'll do a 10-gong salute to, uh, mm, mm, mm. Uh, ten gong salute to Mr. Billy Graham, superstar. Mm. <laughs> All right. So yeah. All right. So this is uh, Big Jim Blogcast Live version 5.0 episode 252. It is Sunday, May 21st, 2023. Uh, our first Canadian long weekend of the summer, kickoff to summer, uh, doing some toggling there. Um, all right, our craft beer for tonight. I've got a good cigar going on here. Uh, vintage uh, 2003 Rocky Patel for all you like uh, cigar lovers out there. Mm. <coughs> Steve, I don't have like a wrestling name. Um, I don't have a finishing maneuver um all right but glad to see you out steve and uh watching big jim blogcast live uh tonight's craft beer accompanied by gibson's finest whiskey um it is all right hold on here mm. Mm. all right so uh do, 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 okay all right so yeah all right um our craft beer for tonight it is called Bayfield Blonde Lime, um, and uh, yeah, trying it for the very first time tonight. Mm. Mm. The lime is, oh yeah, basically like this is a good spring beer, a good bingo beer. Um, I do feel a bathroom break coming on, so just before warned, before warned. Um, all right. Mm. Mm. All right. So. Yeah, um, I do give this a rating out of 10 later on in the blog cast. So, is Bayfield Blonde Lime. Um, I got this last year, last summer, at the Bayfield Brewing Company in Bayfield, Ontario. Um, so, um, it's a good spring beer, good uh, bingo beer. When you're playing bingo or, you know, where did I get that? It was just, you know, um, um, hmm. so, yeah. Um Listen. Oh, that's great. That's great. All right. Kudos to the Grand Bend crew. All right. For uh, listening in right now. Um, if you guys want to throw out a number later on in the blogcast, if you're still here, still kicking around, feel free to do so. We're all about our audience participation here at Big Jim Blogcast Live. Um, there may be like a little bit of a bathroom break from, from me. 
Um, so yeah. Mm. Mm. <coughs> All right. So I want to remind everybody as we kick it in, we, we're going to do our classic board game. The Big Gent Blogcast Live is not spam. The audio version will go out later on Spotify, Apple Podcast, all these audio listing platforms. You'll see your podcast too, plus my own YouTube channel, Big Gent Blogcast Live at YouTube.com. I want to give shouts out to everybody watching in the Port Elgin groups, the Sarnia groups, like Sarnia Rocks. Uh, Michelle, you guys rock, supporting Sarnia. Um, Chain Reaction, Beth Band there, out there. All the pop culture, retro classic, nostalgia groups, all the Van Halen, hard rock groups, craft beer, cigars, Star Wars, pro wrestling, Blogspot, classic TV and movies, plus the James Bond, Sean Connery groups, WKRP, classic board games, Sean Cassidy, Gordon Lightfoot, Ruby's Cube, Bongos and Congas. So right on. Uh, I like that. I like that a lot. Um, yeah. All right. So, okay. Um, okay. So if you'll excuse me for a minute, I got to go and, uh, all right. Okay. All right. I am back. Back for the attack. All right. So, yeah. Uh, big want to give shouts out to all the Grand Ben peeps that are listening in right now. Um, okay. So, yeah. Um, it. Uh, before we get to our uh, classic board game, um, I've got like a Rubik's Cube here. This is the second of three tries tonight. Um, I am going to try and get the whole blue side here on 20 turns. So here we go. All right. So yeah, drum roll. All right. Uh, all right. So anyways, here we go with like our, our, uh, 20 turns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, nine, 10, 11, um, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, uh, 19, and 20. So there we go. That's all I could get, all I could get in right now. Um, but uh, uh, one more time before the blogcast ends, I will do that. I will try and get like... Um, uh, a full blue side but if I don't all year long I'm gonna do this all year long if I don't um, by the end in November I will like uh, disassemble I'll take apart this cube Ruby's cube on air and I will put it back uh, to all colors like uh, all the uh, uh, all the like full colors on every side so boom there we go put it back on my uh, big Jim broadcast live coffee mug there all right so okay Okay, and that deserves a bongo solo in itself. Boom. All right. Okay, so we've got our classic board game coming up. Um, Shout out to re-watching the Grand Bend right now. So, all right. We're in the middle of a Canadian long weekend. This is Big Jim Blogcast Live, episode 200, version 5.0, episode 252, May 21st, Sunday, May 21st, 2023. Hmm. Hmm. All right. <coughs> we've got like our cigar. We've got like our our um, our uh, whiskey there. We've got our craft beer going on. All right. So we've got our classic board game. Well, I'm not. Gonna, this is called Go for It. All right. This was according to board, like. Uh, and thanks for the fine folks over, over at uh, www.boardgamegeekgock.com. This was created in 1986 for two to six players ages eight and up. Uh, the designer was Charles Phillips. Uh, 
they were like uh, this was game by the this was like the the part uh, uh, the Parker Brothers uh, company um, all right so the object of the game you collect uh, five different uh, uh, cards in four different categories house and home wheels feeling good going places um, you've got like uh, uh, believe it or not I found this at um, all right so I found this at Goodwill um, you have uh, players take turns uh, hmm. um, players take turns on it. Uh, let's see here. Let's see. Okay, they've got like. Um, all right. Let's see. All right. Can I get it open? All right. Ooh. All right. Let me see here. Raw, unequivocally raw. Um, all right. So, anyways, here we go. Um, the game where you can have it all. So, all right. Mm. All right. So, uh, okay. So we open it up. We get the players. Um, you get, all right. You get money like this. You get playing cards, um, broadcasting, music. All right. You get, um, uh, players take turns uh, moving the uh, shared timepiece around the board, uh, and each uh, timepiece represents a calendar year. It uh, Labor Day serves the Labor Days serves an annual payday in certain spaces. A player has the opportunity to buy or sell uh, status cards to win. The uh, player must declare on Labor Day that they are going for it. So uh, to win, you must declare like each players get three. Uh, five thousand dollar bills. Um, uh, you get like uh, a couple of these, um, fifty grand. A couple of these, fifty grand bills, five thousand. Uh, you get like the time time pieces, news, big price cut today. Uh, let's see here. Um, all right. So, anyways, and the it's included in here. So. Yeah, um, this, this game kind of reminds me of of uh, Monopoly. So there we go. Go for it. Um, the game where you can have it all. Um, and I did post more, uh, like, mm, all right. So I did post um, more info on my blogcast page and my Facebook page. So what do we got here? All right. So, yeah. Um, it kind of reminds me of like uh, Monopoly, also by Parker Brothers, which I'm assuming, which is uh, mm, Monopoly is by Parker Brothers. If somebody could check that out for me, uh, right on. So, oh yeah, all right. Hmm. Hmm. <coughs> all right, we got to sit down and play that one day. So, anyways, yeah. All right. So, mm, okay. So, yeah. This is Big Jim Blogcast Live, version 5.0, episode 252. is Sunday, May 21st, 2023. We're in the middle of a Canadian long weekend. Um, my craft beer for tonight, I've got it accompanied by, like, uh, Rocky Patel cigars. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> All right, I like that. Yeah. Okay. All right. So the Grand Ben crew, right on, Kathy. Uh, glad to see you out and uh, enjoying your long weekend. Um, tonight's craft beer, accompanied by Gibson's Finest Whiskey. Um, all right, so, mm, all right. Mm, mm. It is called, uh, tonight's craft beer, is, it is called Bayfield Blonde Lime, and uh, it's by the Bayfield Brewing Company in uh, Bayfield, Ontario, and I've had this beer in my fridge for over a year now. Um, mm. Mm. Damn, uh, yeah, you can really taste the lime aftertaste to it. Um, it's a good spring beer. It's a good, you know, summer beer. It's a good novelty beer for, uh, you know, um, I'm going to top this up a little bit. Um, mm. 
All right. So, yeah, um, I do give it a rating out of 10 later on in the blog cast. So if you're still here and still, like, sticking around, you can feel free to throw out a number, see if it matches up with mine. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Um, hmm. All right. Um, hmm. Good spring, summer beer. Uh, spring, summer, and fall. Uh, good, like, uh, bingo when you're playing bingo with, with the crew um on tv or out out and about um yeah uh other than that uh, i'm gonna give more of a reading on it later on the blogcast mm. Mm. look at the texture of that all right so mm, okay um yeah that is like a uh that is like uh that is like a, a, a unique beer mm. Mm. <laughs> All right, so this is Big Jim Blogcast Live version 5.0 episode 252, Sunday, May 21st, 2023. Um, yeah, so uh, thank you for watching and being a part and having me be a part of your uh, li or your uh, first official long weekend of the year. Um, great, cool. That deserves a bongo solo in itself. Boom. So, okay. So, yeah, this is, uh, um, I want to remind everybody tonight that uh, Big Jim Blogcast Live is not spam. The audio version will go out later on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and all these audio listening platforms you to podcast to, plus my own YouTube channel, Big Jim Blogcast Live, at YouTube.com. I will touch on that later on in the blogcast, uh, Kathy. Um, but, uh, yeah, so stick around. I will. Gwen, glad to see you out tonight. Right on. So we got a full house here. Uh, Glenn, Kathy, Susan, um, uh, Larry. All right. So yeah, Steve. All right. So um, yeah, I will touch on that later on in the blogcast where you can get like a T-shirt like mine. Um, yeah. And so, all right. It. Uh, I want to say. Give shouts out to everybody watching the Port Elgin Sarnia, Grand Bend groups, especially Sarnia Rocks, Sporting Sarnia, all the uh, Chain Reaction, great band there, all the like uh, pop culture, retro classic nostalgia groups, all the Van Halen hard rock groups, craft beer, cigars, Star Wars, pro wrestling, Blogspot, T classic TV and movies, um, craft beer, cigars, um, yeah, uh, all the Sean Connery and James Bond groups out there, WKRP in Cincinnati. All the classic board games, Sean Cassidy, Gordon Lightfoot, Rubik's, and the Bongos groups. So cheers. Right on, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, we move on now. Um, all right. To our, uh, mm, let's see here. All right. Do, 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 do. Womp Rats from Star Wars. Um, all right. So this is a Womp Rat. Um, all right. Got the, um, from the Star Wars character encyclopedia. All right, so here we go. Um, mm. All right, so anyways, mm, yeah. So anyways, you've heard of these. They were first introduced in Star Wars. They were rodents of the homeworld of Tatooine, native to Tatooine. They are two meters in length. Um, there's a, here's another one. Um, and so... Uh, they are native to Tatooine. They uh, evolved to withstand harsh desert climates, like Tat as Tatooine was. They have four uh, legs with three clawed paws and long tails and ears. They have big, sharp fangs used to seize prey. They hunt in packs. They were uh, they were prey to Krayat dragons and dewbacks. This is a dewback uh, stormtrooper on a dewback there, and Tusken Raiders. Um, they were hunted by Tuscan raiders. All right. So, um, mm. all right. They were hunted by Tuscan raiders. Uh, Luke Skywalker, this guy, often used his T16 Skyhopper to bullseye womp rats at, with runs through Beggar's Canyon. So, um, yeah. So I posted. If you want more information on uh, on uh, womp rats, 
they are I posted more information on my blogcast page and my Facebook page. So yeah. Um there you go. All right. Mm. Mm. All right. So boom. Mm. All right. So yeah, that's a womp rat native to uh the planet Tatooine. As you see a very very vicious uh looking vicious there. So all right. Um okay. All right. So anyways, yeah. Oh, crap. Man, I'm going to have to have another bathroom break shortly. This beer's going through me. Mmm. Mmm. <coughs> Doing some toggling there. That's a ligar. All right. Mmm. Well, we're not going to get too technical here on the blogcast. So, um, yeah. A ligar, a combination... Does this look like a combination of like a, of a, of a tiger and a lion? I, I don't think so. Um, yeah. So, um, all right. So yeah, I posted more of the backstory of like the, um, of the womp rat on my like uh, uh, on my blogcast page. So yeah, mm, that deserves a bongo solo in itself. Um, all right. Fuck, man. This beer is going through through me, eh? Fuck, like a. Mm. <clears throat> Just to be forewarned, I'm gonna have another bathroom break shortly. Um, mm. All right, fuck it, right now. I'll be back in uh, ten minutes. Or I'll be back in two seconds. Mm. All right. Okay, so yeah, I'm back, uh, back. So, anyways, um, all right. So, uh, all right. So, anyways, oh man, this beer is like just going through me. Like, I mean, fuck. One thing about my craft beer for tonight, accompanied by a good cigar. Um, oh fuck, Steve. I mean, good cigar. Uh, hmm. It is a Rocky Patel Vintage Cameroon 2003. Um, a craft beer for tonight, accompanied by Gibson's Finest Whiskey. Um, mm. All right, so yeah. Mm. Mm. All right. The craft beer for tonight is called Bayfield Blonde Lime. Oh, man. And it does, you, it's got huge lime aftertaste to it, but it does go down really smoothly. Mmm. Mmm. Um, this is a good spring, summer, and fall beer. Uh, be be ha have a bathroom handy because this will like make you piss like a racehorse. Um, all right, so it's the text. Look at that texture. Um, good bingo beer. Um, it's a good like uh, good. You know, it's a good novelty beer. Um, it's by the Bayfield Brewing Company in Bayfield, Ontario, Canada. Um, uh, Great little brewery, like uh, right inside Bayfield along Highway 21. Um, mm. Mm. Um, more on this. I do give this a rating out of 10 later on the blogcast. So if anybody wants to like throw out numbers, feel free to do so at the uh, see if it matches up with mine. Um, good novelty beer there. Um, mm. Just gonna top this up a little bit. Um, and I've got their glass too. It's in the uh, Bayfield. All right, so I'll top that up. Look at that. Um, all right, so mm. glad to see everybody out tonight, celebrating our first long weekend of the year. Um, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. <coughs> well, you never know, Marnie and Marnie. Glad to see you out here tonight. Um, yeah. Uh, by the look on my face, you never know. You never know. 
Um, let's see. You, you never know what, what, what could go on there. All right. So, and that deserves a bongo solo in itself. Boom. All right. Let's see. We got all the, the Grand Bend crew out here tonight. Um, yeah. So, give shouts out to the Grand Bend crew. Uh, I, you guys are, like, enjoying your your first Canadian long weekend, as am I of the summer. I've got tomorrow off, but a lot of people don't. Um, well, people saying, like, it's an eight or nine. I don't know yet. Um, i got to give it a reading. And when I do, like, these craft brewery, craft beer reviews, um, I don't, like, go, you know, well, I go, I go with my gut. Uh, it's very high-class, exquisite beer, you know. It's like, uh, uh, I don't do that. I just go with my gut, and I just say what I feel. So, yeah. Um, I'll top it up. All right, there we go. Um, mm, all right, topping that up. Um, as we get to our like classic forgotten album. Um, mm, born. Uh, okay, we've got Mr. Connery, or no, Mr. Mm, uh, we've got this classic uh, uh, um, album. It was called Born Late by Sean Cassidy, uh, released October 1st, 1977. All right, ladies, you got, this is a former teen idol. Um, all right, so he was a former teen idol, for all, any of you who don't know. Um, this was released October 1st, 1977. As you can see, by I got this, I found this at Goodwill in Sarnia. Um, all you, like, uh, it, it, this was... Like I said, this was released October 1st, 1977 by Curb Warner Brothers Records, produced by Michael Lloyd. Um, this is Sean Cassidy's second studio album. Uh, the band, Sean Cassidy on vocals, Jay Grindon on guitars, Mitch Holder on guitars, John... Uh, okay, so even there's the back um, of all the like symbols, and it opens up. All right, so there we go. Uh, what I assume is a baby picture of Mr. Sean Cassidy. Um, it, uh, yeah, you've got, uh, drums, Carlos Vega on bass, Dean Murray, Mike Picaro on, uh, keyboards, Sean Cassidy, Greg Matheson, saxophone, John DeAndrea, um, the art direction was John, by John, John Calbaca, uh, design of Brad Cannawire, um, side one, you've got Teen Dream, Do You Believe in Magic, Baby, 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 It's Up to You. Um, doing some toggling here. All right, so, um, Audrey, uh, side two, you've got, uh, Hey Dini, written by Eric Carmen, a girl like you, a girl like you, walk away, Caroline is coming home, and Strange Sensation. Now, Sean Cassidy was also starring at the time in the Hardy Boys, Nancy Drew, uh, Mysteries on a ABC. This would have been like, uh, they would have been in their second season by now. Um, Born Late had two hit singles, uh, Hey, mm, Hey Dini by the singer Eric Carmen and Do You Believe in Magic, uh, both cover versions, uh, Do You Believe in Magic, The Love and Spoonful, both of them were like, uh, Hey Dreamer, it got, it got up to like, uh, number seven of the Billboard album, or Billboard singles charts, and Do You Believe in Magic, uh, number 31 in the Billboard album chart. Um, but sadly, by the time, um, by this time, Sean Cassidy's reign as a teen pinup idol was slowly coming to end as the album was less successful than his predecessor. Um, it, uh, yeah. So there you go, all you Sean Cassidy fans, drink in that Sean Cassidy esqueness, uh, that smile, the hair, the, 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 the chest. Ooh. All right. So, yeah. All right. And this is what Sean Cassidy looks like now. All right, big shocker there, eh? People do age. Um, all right, so. Um, and I posted several of the songs from here. Do you believe in magic and uh, Hey Dreamin'? Or no, um, Hey D on my blogcast page, my Facebook page. So look for it, like for it. There's our classic forgotten album by former teen idol Sean Cassidy. So drink it in. There you go. Woo, swoon, and ooh and ah over, over, over that. So there you go. <coughs> mm, all right. So, um, yeah. 
All right, boom, and that deserves a bongo solo in itself. Hmm. Hmm. All right. So I got to relight this baby up here. Um, all right. So. Hmm. 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 Mm. All right, very strong cigar here. Um, it's a Rocky Patel vintage. I've got a backup, you know, second one right there. Um, okay, it is mm, Big Jim Blogcast Live version 5.0, episode 252. It's Sunday, May 21st, 2023. We're going to give you a bongo solo. Boom. All right, okay. Mm, all right, so yeah, um, once again, like uh, it's the first Canadian long weekend of the summer, of like of the year. And so I'm glad you're watching it. Glad you're with me. Shouts out to the Grand Bend crew. Um, yeah. So, anyways, all right. So, mm, mm. Mm. <coughs> all right. And so. Mm. Okay, so yeah, as we get to our like, uh, we've got our uh, all right. So another, we lost another legend, a Canadian music legend, Mr. Gordon Lightfoot. Um, he passed away. Um, whoop, all right, there we go. Yeah, all right, liking that. Um, all right, so yeah. Um, all right. All right, so yeah, uh, Mr. Gordon Lightfoot passed away Monday, May first, uh, at age 84 in Toronto. Now, what isn't there said that could be said about this legend? He was born November 17, 1938, in Aurelia, Ontario, Canada. In his youth, he sang in the church choir. He also appeared occasionally on Aurelia radio uh, and Kiwanis music festivals. So that's how he got his start out. Um, um, all right, there he is. Um, he would, he taught himself how to play piano, drums, percussion, and folk guitar. He would perform extensively all through high school. He moves to Los Angeles in 1958, supports himself by singing, writing, arranging, and uh, producing songs and, uh, jingles for the radio. Now he returns to Canada. His biggest hits, if you like, uh, Sundown, if you could read my mind, Carefree Highway, Wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald were also to all top 10 hits in North America. Now, he's recorded 20 studio albums from 1966 to 2020. Um, he won how many, how, what, what awards hasn't this guy won? Like, I mean, basically a legend. So, um, yeah, Canadian hero. Jeremy, glad to see you out tonight. Yeah. Um, it, uh, yeah, he's a nine-time Juno Award winner. For Best Male Singer, five-time Grammy Award nominee. 1986, he was inducted into the Canada Music Hall of Fame. 2014, he was awarded Lifetime Achievement Award by SoCan. Um, his follower, his influences were Pete Seeger, Bob Gibson, The Weavers, Ian and Sylvia Tyson. Um, basically, his final album, a 216 concert performance at Royal Albert Hall, were released in J uh, July 2023. And here's to you. Mr. Gordon Lightfoot, cheers, wherever you are right now. Mm. Mm. Yeah, and so, all right. Um, and I posted all these songs, Sundown, if you could read my mind, Carefree Highway, Wreck of the Edmonds Miss Gerald, on my blogcast page. So look for it, like it, plus a short bio of him um, on my blogcast page. So, yeah, all right. Mm. That deserves, like, a bongo solo in itself. So, Mr. Gordon Lightfoot, I will give a 10-gong salute to him and superstar Billy Graham at the end of the broadcast. All right. So, okay. Mm. Um, yeah, this is like uh, Big Jim Blogcast Live, version 5.0, episode 252. It is Sunday, May 21st, 2023, our Canadian first long weekend of the year. Um, mm. Mm. 
I want to give shouts out to, okay, I remind you um, that this podcast is not spam. The audio version will go out later on Spotify, Apple Podcast, and all these audio listening platforms are through podcast too, plus my own YouTube channel, Big Jim Podcast Live at YouTube.com. I want to give shouts out to everybody watching the Port Elgin Sarnia group, especially Sarnia Rocks, supporting Sarnia, the Grand Bend crew, of course. Shouts out to you, all like uh, Chain Reaction, uh, all the pop culture, retro classic nostalgia groups, um, all the Van Halen hard rock groups, craft beer, cigars, Star Wars, pro wrestling, Blogspot, classic TV and movies, the Sean Connery, Bond, James Bond groups, WKRP in Cincinnati, board games, classic board games, um, Gordon Lightfoot, Ruby's Cube, and Bongos and Congas. So yeah, he's a Canadian hero. All right, so our craft beer for tonight, got like a good cigar going uh, here. Uh, mm. 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 All right. So, yeah, doing a little toggle there. Fuck. Keep us in the loop. Um, all right. So, anyways, the craft beer for tonight, accompanied by Gibson's Finest Whiskey. Um, mm. Mm. All right. The craft beer for tonight, it is Bayfield Blonde Lime uh, by the Bayfield Brewing Company in uh, Bayfield, Ontario, Canada. Mm. Mm. I said it's a good spring, summer, and fall beer, and it does have like a lot of lime aftertaste to it. Um, basically, s- situate yourself near a bathroom because you'll piss like a racehorse with this beer. Um, look at the texture on there. And so yeah, um, mm. uh, good spring, summer, and fall beer. Good back deck beer if you're near a bathroom. Um, mm, 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 yeah. Good for playing bingo. Um, good for like uh, you know, um, yeah. Uh, mm, Bayfield Blonde Line by the Bayfield Brewing Company in Bayfield, Ontario, Canada. Mm. Mm. Wow. Mm. It's a good, good specialty novelty beer for like uh, if you, you want to introduce it to your friends, go right ahead. Um, all right. So, yeah. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, bongo solo in itself. Boom. All right. So, glad to see everybody out here tonight. Kathy, Jeremy, uh, Susan, uh, Larry, right on. Um, Steve, yeah, great. Thank you for watching. Um, as we get to, like, uh, all right, we get to my most favorite time in the broadcast. All right, where is it? Mm, all right. Oh, yeah. It's called This Week in Van Halen History. From May 21st, from May 15th to 21st. Um, oh, man. Um, August 15th, 1984, Van Halen. They. Uh, Van Halen plays the Thomas Mack Center in Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, May 15th, 2008, Van Halen plays the uh, first, memor- uh, first Mariners Arena in Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, May 16th, 1986, uh, Van Halen plays the Coliseum in North Car- Greensboro, North Carolina. Um, May 16th, 1994, David Lee Roth plays City Hall in Sheffield, England. May 17, 1981, Van Halen plays the Civic Center in Glens Falls, New York. May 18, 1974, Montrose plays the Summer of 74 Festival at the Valley Opening for The Who. May 18, 1983, Sammy Hager opens for ZZ Top at the Coliseum in Richmond, Virginia. May 19, 1998, Van Halen plays the Palace of Auburn Hills in Michigan. May 20, 1997, Sammy Hager releases his, post first, his first album after leaving Van Halen called Marching to Mars. May 21st, 1998, David Lee Roth plays p Coliseum in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. And that is all for this week in Van Halen history. All right. So, damn. Mm. All right. Where did I post? All right. So, yeah. Mm. All right. So, normally I don't do this, but I got to take another bathroom break, dude. I mean, this beer is like going through me. All right. I will be back. Mm. Okay.
Okay, I'm coming back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Mm, all right. So yeah, uh, if you're gonna be like, if you're gonna drink Bayfield Blonde La La Bayfield Blonde Lime, be be like uh, near a bathroom because that uh, yeah, our craft beer for tonight. Um, mm, all right. So we're gonna our craft beer for tonight. Uh, before I rate it, we're gonna cube the Rubik one more time. Mm. <laughs> it's a, our craft beer for tonight, accompanied by like uh, a good cigar. It is like uh, vintage 2003 Cameroon. Um, all right, so all right, so I'll get get that off of there. Um, mm. <coughs> I will do it. I like I said, I'll do a ten gong salute to both Gordon Lightfoot and um, and uh, superstar Billy Graham at, in, in, a, in a few minutes here. Um, just toggling. There we go. Our craft beer for tonight, accompanied by Gibson's finest whiskey. Um, mm, all right, very good. Mm, 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 all right. Um, my final thoughts on this before I give it a rating. Um, it is. Mm, oh man. Mm, all right. Um, my final thoughts on this. Um, okay, before we do that, we're going to cube the Rubik one more time. Um, I'm going to try and get like uh, 20 turns, get a full blue. So here we go. There we go. Drum roll. Um, all right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, uh, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So there we go. That is our final uh, cubing the Rubik for tonight. Um, well, Steve, you may be close, you may be not, but uh, here we, I'll retire that. And uh, just a note on this, I'm, I'll be doing this for the rest of the year. Um, if I don't get it by November, um, I will disassemble this. On, I'll take this apart live on air, and I will like, uh, you know, I'll uh, I'll put it back to all colors, all all colors. So all right, and it's in the the. I'll mount that on here, my Big Jim Blogcast Live mug. All right. So anyway, my final thoughts on this beer. This is a good spring, summer, and fall beer. It's a good novelty beer. Mm by the Bayfield Brewing Company in Bayfield, Ontario, Canada. Um, it, uh, mm, um, it goes down smoothly, but you can really taste the lime in it, um, the lime aftertaste to it. Mm. Mm. Um, it's a good bingo beer. Yeah, be, be prepared, be near a bathroom when you're, when you're chugging this down. Don't chug it down. Take your time with it. Really appreciate the lime in it. Um, all right, here we go. Um, mm, mm. As I said, I'm trying it for the very first time tonight. Mm. Now, all right. So, uh, where does it rank on my like uh, on my on my r ratings here? Um, mm. All right. So there's the rating system right there. Um, where does it rank? Uh, believe me. I thought long and hard about this. Um, um, all right, I'm gonna give it like. Hmm, all right, I'm gonna give it a seven out of ten. There we go, seven, 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 seven. Um, yeah. So, anyways, seven out of ten. All right. So, there we go. All right. Woof, 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 woof. There we go, seven out of ten. So Steve, you were close. Um, yeah, seven out of ten to the to um, Bayfield blonde, uh, blonde Lime. Um, it, uh, you know what? All I can say is it's a good spring, summer, and fall beer. Um, uh, definitely like uh, outside, um, but be near a bathroom when you when like because this this like. Uh, you know, this will this will make you piss like a racehorse. So, mm, 
Mm. Seven out of ten. All right. So, mm. okay, yeah. All right. So, yeah. That uh, uh, if you guessed like uh, right on. So if you guessed like six point five, like Steve did, um, you uh, um, you uh, you're pretty close. So, mm. <laughs> All right. I will give you guys an inspirational, motivational quote for this long weekend. Um, mm. All right. So, anyways, that deserves a bongo solo in itself. Seven out of ten. Boom. It is Big Jim Blogcast Live version 5.0, episode 252. It is Sunday, May 21st, 2023. Uh, we're in the middle of our long weekend, our first long weekend of these. It's a kickoff to summer, so it feels like it, doesn't it, with the weather we're having? So you never know, we could have a blizzard tomorrow. That's the Canadian long weekend for you. Um, the only limit to our realization of tomorrow will be our doubts of today. That's by Franklin D. Roosevelt. And I'll repeat that. Our only limit to our realization, our o the only limit to our realization of tomorrow will be our doubts of today. And that's by Franklin D. Roosevelt. And as promised, um, I will do a ten gong salute to Mr. Gordon Lightfoot and to Mr. Superstar Billy Graham, who both passed away earlier this month. Um, all right, so here we go. Join me. Um, there we are. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And there we go. That's for these guys. They're both legends in their perfective in their respective professions. So yeah. All right. And so okay. So, yeah, all right, so where are we here? All right, so anyways, yeah, I did that. Gave you guys like a, um, all right, so anyways. All right, whoa, all right. Okay, let's see here. Hmm. All right, so anyways, where are we here? Uh, two, uh, all right, so yeah, all right, okay, so now, all right, so I promised, as promised, I would get to, um, our merchandise, so if you want, now, if you want, all right, so anyways, um, if you want a t-shirt like mine, um, First of all, like, okay. So anyways, all right. If you want a t-shirt like mine, um, baseball jersey, I'm going to tell you how to get it. Um, so, seven, all right. So baseball jersey with the logo on the front and the back or any design like a tank top or any like that. Um, here's a plain white t-shirt with the logo on it. Um, all right. So with the logo on it. All you have, they are 35 bucks a pop, shipping and handling included, four to six weeks for delivery. I can't, uh, uh, all right, so I, I, I can't help that. That's just four to six weeks for delivery, 35 bucks a pop, shipping and handling included. You just inbox me on my blogcast page or my fa regular Facebook page and tell me what design you want. Send me an e-transfer, e money order, um, and I'll do my best to get that out to you as soon as possible. So there you go. All right. Um, okay. So yeah. Mm. All right. Mm. Mm. <coughs> All right. So yeah. That is. This is. Okay. So this is Big Jim's Blogcast Live. Mm. Version uh, 5.0, episode 252. It is like uh, Sunday, May 21st, 2023. Um, all right, people. So, all right. So, mm. Mm. all right. All right. So, yeah, for Big Jim Blogcast Live, 
Um, we did our birth, we did our craft beer review, Bayfield Blonde Lime, by the Bayfield Brewing Company in Bayfield, Ontario, Canada. Seven out of ten. Um, our birthday shout outs go out to Brendan Bain, Stacy Parker, David Beckingham, uh, Joshua Brown, Adam Van Hugenhoos, uh, Trisha DeBoer, Galena George, Jody Boyd Stewart. Um, we did our countdowns, local events, Never Say Never Again, the Bond movie. Uh, WKRP in Cincinnati Season 1, Superstar Billy Graham, uh, our classic board game Go For It, our Star Wars Womp Rats, our, our album, Forgotten Album, Sean Cassidy, Born Late, Gordon Lightfoot, This Week in Van Halen History, our motivational quote, The only limit to our realization of tomorrow will be our doubts of today, by Franklin D. Roosevelt. Um, you will see me next weekend for Big Jim Vlogcast Live. I'm Jim. It is Sunday, May 21st, 2023, Big Jeep Podcast Live, version 5.0, episode 252. Um, yeah, be good, everyone. Got a good cigar going on here. I will continue out by the rest of my long weekend. Mm. Mm. Want to remind everybody, Big Jeep Podcast Live is not spam. The audio version goes out later on Spotify, Anchor FM, and all these audio listening platforms is new podcast, too. Plus my own YouTube channel, Big Jim Podcast Live at YouTube.com. And shout out to everybody watching Sarnia Port Elgin groups, uh, Sarnia Rocks, Sporting Sarnia, the Grand Den crew. Uh, I know you're watching out there. Uh, Chain Reaction, best band around. All the pop culture, the classic nostalgia groups, all the Van Halen hard rock groups, classic rock, craft beer, cigars, Star Wars, pro wrestling, blog spot. Classic TV and movies, the Sean Connery, James Bond groups, um, WKRP, classic board games, Sean Cassie, Gordon Lightfoot, Rivers Cube, Bonds and Congas, Bongos and Congas, um, this is Big Jim Flop Cash Live, version 5.0, episode 252. Be good, and you can continue on with the rest of your long weekend. I give you permission to, and you will definitely see me next weekend. So, peace out. Um, Cheers, everyone, and rock on. Mm. Mm. All right. So, cheers, everybody. Be good. Stay safe. And have a good long weekend for the rest of it. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm for Big Jim Vlogcast Live. I'm Jim. This is uh, episode 252. Carry on with the rest of your long weekend. Cheers, everyone. All right. Rock on, and you will definitely see me next weekend.